Hi everyone, welcome to Compositing Tips and Tricks video series. Today, we are going to continue with how to fix edges. As I mentioned in the previous video, chromatic abrasion can introduce black and white edges when you do green screen or blue screen compositing. I will show you why that is happening. How do we fix that one? Let's see how I fix black and white edges due to chromatic aberration in my shots. We all know why and how chromatic aberration is happening. So I'm not going to explain about chromatic aberration. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to our frame. So I'm using the same frame and uh, this frame doesn't have any chromatic aberration. So I'm adding chromatic aberration by using this chroma smear gizmo. Thanks Jillian for this awesome and simple tool. I done the display here. I minus display result with the original input and I desaturated the result to get all my luminance back. So I'm plusing the luminance back here and I done basic key and copy the alpha and pre-multiply. I'm using constant with 50% value and I check my final comp. You can immediately start seeing black edges. Let's see, we can use the same multiply technique to fix these black edges. I'm going here, I'm adding multiplier node and increase the luminance by increase the luminance two times. So plus in back when I check my final count here most of the black edges are disappeared but immediately you can see her left hand starter introducing white edges if you check her right hand still we are seeing some black edges okay can we compensate this black edge by increasing the value more Ah, no, it's not working. We started introducing more and more of white edges. We'll split this into two, three different portions. Like we'll do one multiply for the hair area, another multiply for right hand side, another one multiply for the left hand side. Let's see how it works. I'll add one more multiply. Okay, and key mix. Sorry, I'm just doing some rough photos right here. Okay, so this multiplier I'm adjusting two, still it's not working. Three, three. Oh, if I go more than two, I'm started introducing white edges so this is not working let's see i'll delete this router and i create router for this side and so if i make it a zero what is happening we actually removing the luminance from the plate uh, it's giving some kind of if i like Make it point five. Uh, no, still this is not working. If I go back to my chromatic operation, I'll check the right and edge. If I switch to channels like red channel, green channel, blue channel. If I check closely between red channel and green channel, there is a shift in the pixels. The edge ends in red channel here but if it's switched to green channel it ends somewhere here so when there is a no pixel so what should we do we need to create new pixels on that area by doing that we can fix this issue okay how do we do that let's see to fix this kind of edges i use its extend technique i extended the edge and key mix it back only on her shoulder and hand areas. If I check my final count now, if I switch up edge treatment, you can clearly see 
we are getting rid of the white edges this side and black edges this side when i check my final comp we fixed all the edge issues on the both side of the hand if i compare with my input and output if you go closer if you check very closer input output so this is our input edge and this is our final edge fix edge you can clearly see we get rid of this yellow edge and replaced with skin tone so the same thing if you go to the other side you can clearly see if you feel this edge is a bit sharper you can always add edge blur here after the pre multiply and use the same alpha i always change size to 2 so it will add bit of softness okay yeah this is how i fix my edge issues when there is a chromatic abrasion in my input plate always apply the chromatic abrasion back to the fixed edges as we seen in this video one treatment cannot work with all the circumstances so as a compositor you should use different techniques for different edge issues today we saw how chromatic abrasion introduce black or white edges in our compositing this is my workflow to fix the edges caused by chromatic abrasion this is the technique is more friendly easy to fix and more reliable i hope this will help some of you guys if you know any better technique to fix this kind of edge please feel free to share in the comment section see you guys next week with some other tips and tricks peace